I'm Jordan Belfort, and this is Sales School. All right, here's the deal as America gets back to work. You want and need every possible advantage out there to succeed in the new economy. Smart companies run on NetSuite by Oracle, the world's number one cloud-based business system. So receive your free guide right now at netsuite.com slash school. All right, how's everyone doing? You guys good? You ready to rock and roll? All right, got a great topic for you today, super critical for your long-term success as a salesperson, just as, as a human being moving through the world that wants to feel empowered and feel like your life has meaning. And the subject is your vision for the future. You know, where do you see yourself and five years from now and why? In other words, you know, okay, so today I'm in a certain spot in my life, right? This is just my life is today. Okay, and it's got some good things going on, some bad things going on, right? But this is what I say. Where am I in five years from now? And just as important, why does it matter to me that I get there? See, without the why of everything, you don't have the actual motivation, the purpose to go out there and do everything that's going to be necessary to break through all the barriers, the obstacles, overcome the challenges that are going to be standing between you and your vision for the future. And there's going to be challenges, there's going to be problems, so to speak, right? And what happens with people that don't have a vision is that they, first of all, they don't know where they're going. They have no target to aim for. That's number one. Number two, if they don't have the why attached to that vision, then the brain says, you know, why do all the work? What's the point of it all? You know, why does it really matter to me? So what you want to do is you want to create what I call a fully integrated vision for your future. And that means it not only says, you know, hey, in five years from now, I see myself. So watch. In five years from now, I see myself living, working, doing Go, it's in the active form. We call that in English a gerund, I-N-G. I see myself living in a beautiful home, making a million dollars a year. I'm a top producer for this company. I've broken the records. I'm married. I'm, it's, it's not just about your business. It's not just about work. Your vision for the future represents everything about your life, where you actually see yourself, how you see yourself moving through the world, interacting with the people that you love, interacting with people you don't know. Just how do you view yourself? How do you see yourself? What does that feel like and why does it matter? See, what happens is this, just watch. On some level, success is pretty basic. It's like, you know, you wanna see things as they are in your life right now, but not worse than they are. See, it always starts with getting honest. See things in your life as they are. You got to get honest with yourself because as you stand right now, this is called what? Your starting point. Right now, where you are, it's your starting point. You have to start the journey somewhere. So you have to see things as they are, but not worse than they are. And that's what a lot of people do. They actually, when they go about trying to get honest, they actually exaggerate on the downside. I'm so broke. I'm too young. I'm in the worst part of the world. The economy is so bad. I have no time. You actually make you a lot in life worse than it is. And you start telling yourself a story about why you can't get what you want in life. And ultimately, it's the story that you tell yourself about why you can't get what you want that stops you from getting what you want. Because when you tell yourself the story, it stops you from getting honest. In other words, you lack the honesty to say, here's where I am right now, here's what I know, here's what I don't know, here's what I have to learn, here's what I have to meet, here's the skills I have to possess, here's the skills I have to perfect. But if you're not gonna have that accurate starting point, well, guess what? You're like, oh, things are just so terrible. It's impossible. I'm not even gonna take the first step. So you have to start off by always seeing things as they are in your life right now, but not making them worse than they are. And then the next step in success is to actually see things better than they are. 
and then develop a strategy or a plan to get there. So see things as they are, don't make them worse, and then see things better than they are. And that's your goal, your vision for the future. Now watch, I said that very quickly. So that's your goal slash your vision for the future. You see, you have these two things, these things, they compete with each other in some respects, but they really mostly connect with one each other. And that is goals and vision. There's a very big difference between the two. This is about vision right now. When you think about vision, it's where you see yourself in five years from now and why it matters. It's the emotional connection you have to success. It represents everything, not just, you know, a goal, which is in one year from now, goal always has a date, I'll be making $500,000 a year. That's a goal. In one week, I want to open up eight accounts. In this week, I want to make $3,000. In this week, I want to work out for the, those are all goals. They have a start date and the goal has an ending date. Right. And we'll get into goal setting in a separate, in a separate learning here. But the idea is that your goals are the short term signposts along the way between where you are right now and the vision, which is where you want to go for the long term. So watch the way it plays out here. It's good for a little time on the board here. Watch. So this is where you are right now. This is your starting point right now. So let's go your starting point. Right. And then you have your vision for the future. This is where you see yourself in five years from now and why it matters. We call that a fully integrated vision. You have to have one. I'll tell you why in a second, why it's so crucial. So watch what happens. This is where you are right now. This is where you ultimately want to go. And what you have then are these goals along the way. You have short term goals, you have intermediate term goals, you have longer term goals. And ultimately the goals connect you from where you are right now to your vision. There are these like stopping off points or signposts along the way that say, I'm heading in the right direction or am I heading in the wrong direction? If you set a goal and you don't achieve it, you're not even close to achieving the goal. Well, guess what? You say, okay, well, like, I got to make a change here. Like, no, it's, I'm off course here. So you actually pivot and you try again and you move back on towards your vision. So your goals represent these sort of signposts along the way. Am I heading towards my vision or am I heading away from my vision? So if you were to look at all the goals that you set, they should connect you up to your vision. The difference is that your goals are not things you want to be emotionally attached to. That's not the purpose of a goal. A goal is something that has a start date and end date. It's more, you know, so that it's more logic based. And it says, okay, did I achieve the goal or did I not? Now, let me just tell you, when you're setting goals correctly, you often don't achieve your goals because you want to stretch yourself. You don't want to set goals that are very, you know, um, on the lower side because here's the problem. For most people, the reason they don't succeed is not because they set their goals too high and miss them. What really stops people from succeeding is they set their goals too low and they end up hitting them. You get that? It's not that you set these crazy lofty goals and don't meet them. No, you actually set your goals too low and you end up hitting them. And the enemy of greatness is what? Being good. So you end up doing, oh, I'm doing all right. You set a measly goal. It's not a big deal. You hit it, you feel okay. And when you're feeling okay, there's no impetus to change. So I want you to set your goals more robustly. I want you to have these goals that stretch. So you stretch yourself and often you won't hit them. And the point is that you're showing if you're getting close, you're heading in the right direction. And then your vision is where you're emotionally attached to. I don't want you flipping out when you don't hit a goal because or else what ends up happening is you move from goal to goal and you're never happy. Like for one second, you're happy when you hit your goal. But then after you hit the goal, you're like, all right, what's next? And you're miserable again, trying to wait to hit the next goal. So you can't be emotionally attached to your goals. Your goals are the signposts along the way. And your vision for the future represents this place that it, when you read it back to yourself, it's like the, the hands in the back of your neck gotta be standing up. It's gotta turn you on. So I'm gonna want you right now to write out, work with your facilitators, and I want you to write out your own personal vision for the future. I'm gonna give you a template for doing this to give you like a kind of a, a shortcut to keep you on course here, but I want this to be a vision that when you read it back to yourself, it moves you. 
It makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning and just, you know, just run towards achieving that vision. When you think of it, it turns you on. It's like you can imagine yourself living the way you want to live and just, it's just the best of everything. You know, this, the idea is, you know, Jerry Maguire, that movie, you know, um, you know, um, you've seen it, right? With Cuba Gooding and, um, Tom Cruise. He, he, Cuba Gooding talks about the Quan, like the best of everything, you know? That's about standards. Like, you know, the best life, the best, the most money, the most connection, love, respect, right? But again, congruent with that is also, so you have standards, right? And vision. So if you don't have a vision, that is robust and turns you on and you have high standards. And a lot of you have high standards. You, you tested to having high standards, right? But if you don't have a vision for your future. You know what you feel? You feel like lack of days. Like, why am I doing this? Why is my life lack meaning? I feel like I lack purpose. I'm not jumping out of bed. I don't feel empowered. The vision that you create is a gift that you give yourself. You understand that? It's a gift that you give yourself because it's something I want you to put on your smartphone, like right in front of you every single day. I want it in your pocket or written down in your pocket. I want this on you and in your face every day because the more you see this vision, okay, what it does is it sort of activates the parts in your of your mind that every time you see something that might help you achieve your vision, you'll start moving towards it. You start acting on things that can help you achieve your vision. Looking at it in another way, a vision gives you a target to aim for. And without a target, how can you hit what you can't see? Do you understand that? Like if you like, if, if I have a very clear target, I'm aiming for that target over there. It's precise. I have something I'm moving towards. I, I can at least have context. Should I go this way? Should I turn left? Should, you have, without the vision you have, you're just flying blind, praying that somehow you stumble into success. Everything in life, when it comes to success, it works backwards. Like the straight line is a backwards looking system. We go to the end, say what had to line up in someone else's mind to get them to say yes. And then we go about lining those things up. But we're still saying what has to line up. With a vision, you can't just say, I want to succeed. No. What does it look like? What does my life look like with success? What am I doing for a living? What, where am I living? What am I wearing? What am I drawing? What's my family? What, what schools do my kids go to? What have I done for my parents, my community, the causes I believe in? All of these things have to be in this fully integrated vision for your future. And most important of all, why that matters to you. Do not miss this step in the process of success. It almost ensures your success because it gives you context of where, when, how much to apply the skills that you're learning, the tactics, the strategies, and without it, at best you'll succeed but feel uninspired. I want you to feel inspired. I want you to jump out of bed in the morning and just feel like you're seizing life and living life on your own terms, but seizing it, going after it. And you can't do that without having a fully integrated vision for the future. So do it right now. In five years from now, I see myself dot, 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 and then start writing it out. And let me just tell you something. Trick. Give yourself the benefit of all the skills and strategies you're going to learn as you go. And those don't limit it with, well, I can't see myself in five years being X, Y, Z, because I don't know all those things. I don't know the right people. You'll meet the right people. You'll learn the skills you gotta learn. You'll get the money you have to raise. Right now, you're becoming an expert at the straight line. That opens up a universe of possibility. But start right now, write out this vision, and make sure when you're done that the hands on the back of your neck are standing up, because if not, you're selling yourself short.